Hello. How you doing? Okay. Man, what did Trey Brown show you? Well, as you saw, you know, he was a very confident young man. Uh, the game isn't too big for him. He's been pressing and waiting to get out there. And you can tell that uh, during the time he was out, he was really working to get back on the field. And uh, it really showed. Uh, he really stepped in, made some uh, plays, made an impact, made a big uh, tackle when we needed it. And uh, he, he certainly was a spark. You would know more than I, but the form of his tackle, look, they only were three of them, but they all seemed to be shoulder into the torso, right. head up, short, and the guys didn't, they fell backwards instead of forward. No run. question. He, uh, he packs a punch. Uh, obviously, he's been. We teach a lot of tackling. He's been paying attention, so he can't say that he hadn't been taking his notes. But uh, just to see him really come back and uh, make an impact the way he has, uh, knowing him the way we all do, we all know he's a, you know, he's a gamer and a player. He really practices really hard. But uh, to step in in a big moment like that at a big time, it, it really says a lot for, uh, you know, f for what he's been uh, his, his hard work. In what ways did your defense improve most, or where did you see the most improvement for your, from your defense Sunday? Well, we saw them in a lot of areas, but the most uh, glaring for everyone to see was just the consistency from the first half to the second half. Uh, so often that we play, you know, lights out in the first half, and then the, uh, the catch-up yards come in the second half. It's been that way for us for a few weeks. Uh, this time, uh, we, uh, we emphasized it as much as we, we did, but the guys really stayed uh, focused. They stayed disciplined about it. And uh, it was uh, very apparent that the second half was, uh, you know, uh, we had to keep guys out of the end zone. But at the same time, it was consistent. Uh, it was uh, really disciplined, and there was no, no, um, you know, no, no setbacks. Did you use Bobby differently on Sunday? In the run? Differently than? Differently than normal. Well, you know, he's a middle. He was he was a middle linebacker. He was in the middle. <laughs> and he uh, he roamed and he played uh, you know run and pass the way he does. We blitz him as well, but he was uh, still the leader in the general. Uh, so I wouldn't say he, he uh, we we use him any different. A lot of times the offense, the way they attack and the way the offense has a certain personality, you have to play certain different ways. Sometimes it's a running team, you play run, passing team, you play pass, and some teams mix it up well. So different philosophies in offense. You know, changes your, uh, you know, changes the way you play. It looked like you guys switched up how you guys were playing your front seven a little bit, and you guys were going to hold Harris to 3.4 yards per carry. How did, how did you feel about the run defense throughout the game? Uh, well, you know, the run game obviously is always uh, an area of a concern. Anytime you can make a team one dimensional and take the run away, um, uh, but you know, it wasn't anything about our fronts. We are multiple front. It's about our uh, discipline making the plays, guys working together, and again, being consistent from uh, from the first play all the way through 60-minute game. Uh -oh. how, did you, how did you feel about the pass rush? Obviously, I know they get the ball out fast and all that, but did you feel like you were... Well, like, like you said, it's really tough when that's the, he gets it out. Of, there were some times he got it out at 2.02. You know, he gets it out ball out pretty fast uh, on his RPO, so it's really hard to get a pass rush at, at that point, but the main thing is to... Uh, you know, get your hands up. The main thing is uh, to be really sticky in your coverage. But uh, uh, the pass rush is coming along. Obviously, it's going to be continued to grow on the season. But anytime the ball is coming out that quick, it's really hard to get uh, to get a sack. Saints look like a completely different offense with Jameis Winston running it than Drew Brees. Where are the biggest differences? Well, th th they're two different quarterbacks, obviously. And you can see Drew, um, Drew does a really good job of throwing a lot of uh, quick balls. The ball comes out quick with him. Uh, Jamison, he likes to throw a ball a little bit deeper, a little bit more play action. But at the same time, his, uh, his, his quarterback rating is pretty high. Uh, obviously, they run the ball uh, very effectively. So I think that uh, it's kind of more balanced uh, run and pass it's with, uh, with Jamison. Statistics aren't everything, but Carlos Dunlap's had a few games where he hasn't had any tackles. It seems like he's had long stretches where he hasn't been able to get in the backfield. What can you uh, attribute to that? Is it how teams are approaching him from a blocking standpoint? Or? That's hard to say. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we have a lot of good guys playing at the same time, but, you know, Carlos has put in a lot of situations, run and pass. We asked him to do an awful lot. He rushes. He, uh, he's inside, he drops, he does a lot of uh, different things. So he's been very, very versatile for us. So it's hard to pinpoint one thing. The uh, Najee Harris touchdown pass, what did you make of that play and, and what Benson Mayo is asked to do in that situation? That's tough. It's hard to 
cover uh, for cover a running back like that in the three yard space. Uh, as a defender, you have to take away something. Benson did a really good job of taking away the inside, and the and the back broke to the outside. So the best thing we can do is is uh, for me just to call a better call. Uh, it's hard in that situation, uh, but um, uh, that's pretty tough. In any situation, any man or inside zone, you got to really just mug the receiver to try to make sure you, uh, you get a pass break up. But that's a really tough play on, on anyone. Why, why didn't Alton Robinson play it very much against the Steelers? Uh, you can't pinpoint one reason, but uh, you can say there's a lot of people in his position. You, got, you count <laughs> four, three, four, five people. So it's hard, to, uh, it's hard to get reps when you have that many people in one position. So that's, that, that would be the main reason. You, you brought Jamal um, Blitz in a little bit more, especially early in the game. It seemed like, what, what did you think of that and how that worked? Well, you know, we've been, we've been uh, you know, creative in different ways to get them uh, pressure because we know everybody likes pressure. Jamal plays better that way. But you got to understand he, he gets a lot of attention. Uh, anywhere he shows up, everyone's pointing at him. So with that, it opens up, it opens up pressure for everyone else. Uh, you see Daryl Taylor stepping up and different guys getting closer to the quarterback. Uh, but uh, he's a guy that uh, certainly has uh, been able to enhance his game now. He's a well-rounded player. He's on really good in the coverage uh, aspect and uh, as well as blitzing. But it certainly opens it up for other people. How does that work in a game when you've got positions that rotate in? Like, do you leave that up to the position coaches to say? this guy's playing, or will you say, hey, I want Alton on this play, or I want somebody? Well, it's, it's hard for different reasons. Uh, different uh, guys have uh, more effective, but a lot of times you go with the hot player. If he's hot, you keep him going. If he's shooting and he's making all the shots, you keep him in. So you kind of go with the hot guy at the time. Marquise Blair, so like he played quite a bit? Or a little, yeah. yeah. How did you feel about him and kind of where that nickel just stands right now? Yeah, uh, you know, Marquise and Umadi have, have uh, been going back and forth on the nickel. They've been really... Uh, competing out out here on the on the um, practice field, uh, and again they'll both be playing a lot, uh, but he's he's still uh, doing a situation where they're both playing uh, certain plays, but they they both are going back and forth. We're, uh, we're very very solid at that position. Is that just a rotation thing, or do you find different things they do well that like you want to? Well, there's there's no question they both have certain qualities and certain skills that they do uh, better, but the main thing they both are really good football players. So you're going to get them both on the field a lot. They work well together. With Jimmy G, Matt Stafford, and Big Ben, are they just particularly unique in how they don't let you rush them? Does that explain some of those pass rushes the last few Well, you just have to see the, the time that they keep the ball. You have to see how soon does the ball release from the time that they snap it and what the NFL average is and how long does it take for a defender to get from point A to point B. Then you put that average together, if it takes us, you know, 2.8 to get there and they're getting rid of it in 2.0, then that's, uh, you know, that's pretty hard for us to get there. So, so we have to try to get them off the spot, put more guys in coverage and get our hands up, different ways we have to uh, combat the fact of the speed of the, of the release. What do you think of the crime on the floor in coverage? <laughs> Well, we have uh, defensive backs to, to do the coverage. What's the thing that gets behind dropping them? Uh, sometimes you get more coverage. You get more coverage. If they, if they can't get there uh, and the balls come out quick, then you get more guys in coverage. That's kind of the, that's kind of the takeoff. The, the, the play where Jamal didn't get the interception there late, was he just, was he just kind of looking to try to make the hit there? Or was there a yeah, a lot of times uh, you know, there are certain route patterns and a lot of times, once you were playing a good tight zone and then the, the pattern reveals itself, the guys play a, a nice tight man uh, coverage on it. And it, it seemed like he was going for his coverage, and all of a sudden the ball shows up and pops him. So that's, uh, you know, that, that happens. Anything else, guys? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.